The voluntary community faith and social enterprise sector works with and on behalf of NHS trusts and local authorities to deliver healthcare and support for millions of people in England. The National Institute for Health and Care Research, in collaboration with Birmingham Voluntary Service Council, held three listening events with VCFSC organisations to understand how they are currently involved in social care research and what are the barriers and facilitators to their involvement. Together, we identified good practice and recommendations on how to increase access to and build awareness of research opportunities. This is what we learned. VCFSC organisations should be engaged early in the research process to ensure research plans are feasible and reflect the priorities of people who use their services. We heard that there is a need for funding to facilitate earlier VCFSC involvement in research design processes particularly for those smaller organisations who find it harder to backfill time. Co-production needs to be meaningful and based on an equal sharing of power to shape the research. It is important to create spaces within the research projects for relationship development and ongoing partnership building activities between projects. Also to promote and develop accessible research findings by considering how research will be used and disseminated from the outset. We heard when costing VCFSE involvement in research, be realistic about staff time and the different types of activities required to support research. A research-minded culture can be developed by building on reflective processes within VCFSE organisations, such as service evaluations, listening conversations and promoting research champion roles. There is a need to create spaces to develop shared learning and mentorship between VCFSC organisations and the research community and that researchers and VCFSC organisations should co-design and co-deliver research training to improve accessibility and support research capacity for less research experienced organisations. We heard researchers and VCFSC organisations could share mutual knowledge and expertise to develop a community researcher or peer researcher model to promote shared learning and dissemination. Research funders could share learning from existing funding streams that have engaged with communities and adopt things that have worked well, such as promoting research opportunities, simplifying application processes, and clarifying eligibility criteria. There is also a need to expand opportunities to work in partnership to establish and influence social care research priorities. Finally, we heard that some academics and researchers struggle to build long-term relationships with VCFSC organisations because they lack time and capacity to engage, and that it is important to consider barriers such as short and or fixed-term contracts. Addressing these recommendations and working partnership can ensure our research makes a real difference to communities. <laughs>